Shall this we? is a little teaser. What's coming up later on? I think there's exactly 21 there, Dave. Crucial. It's not the hardest job, but it is crucial, you're right. Hey up guys, it's Farmer Daily here at Cannon Hall Farm. I've just had a call off Dave to tell me that he needs some help down at Mill Farm. Um, Kieran's having his dinner, so I've been drafted in to cover his dinner. Because today we are bringing back near enough all of the sheep back to the roundhouse at, the, at Cannon Hall in order to worm them. It's a massive, massive job. Um, Rob's been doing it this morning. Rob's gone for some lunch. Now Dave's doing it this afternoon. Uh, it's a full day's job, so I'm going to take you with me. We're going to head down there and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Today we're bringing the ewes back for scanning. Now, got the trailer rigged up, got the fences rigged up. All we have to do is bring the sheep down, about 22 ewes will fit in nice and comfortably, uh, down the hill. Some of them are a little bit wild, they can be a, a little bit of an handful. So I'm hoping we get a, a quiet bunch this time. Scanning will be covered on the, this week on the farm. Right. Is this is a little teaser, what's coming up later on. Right, there you go, let's go. Unless it's called Friday on the farm, or autumn on the farm, or Christmas on the farm. Who knows what it's going to be called, but it's going to be on telly. We've got a bit of a walk on, we can't, land so wet in it, we can't really do much, so we're, we're having to walk just about everywhere. Well, yeah, sometimes you could use the off-road vehicle to bring them down, but to be honest, if you look at that, you need an all-terrain uh, motorbike to get up and down there. Even a quad, you it's that way you slide yeah it's, it's dangerous you've got to use the correct vehicles for the the correct situation and today as vehicles are as feet as good. dave's got his boots on so we know we're on we're on to summit um how many are we taking 20 uh 21. so we'll count them with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one four three four five six seven eight nine ten one four i think there's exactly 21 there dave that's just one more count <laughs> Oh, yeah. 19? 19. 19. I'll, yeah, I'll follow him down, Dave. So now they're going, we've caught him up, but now we're laying them loose again because we just got to walk them down that bit of a road and into trailer all being well. So this should just be a steady walk down here now. They've, not, they've got nowhere else to go, not really. Yeah, not. they could run across the stream. They could run across the stream, but it's fairly fast and it's not like, I dare say, if there were a boatload of grass and it were summer on the other side, then they might uh, think about it, but. We'll probably go the right way. You're on there, Dale. You just hold that. Yeah, got it. Okay. Got that. Am I waiting here, Dave? Uh, no. I think you just come back with me. Keep coming! Keep coming! Keep coming! Right, so these are ones that Dave and Rob have already brought this morning, plus a few more. There they are. So the boys are just in the middle there, worming them. So we'll go, uh, we'll go see them in a sec. Right, so we're up at Roundhouse. Uh, we've got a few sheep just in the middle. Not too many, because they are, you know, we know they're in one, so we don't want them all bunched up. So just a few in the middle here. What job are you on today, Al? Um, well, we're worming sheep. I've got the spray marker, so when we've wormed one, I'm going to give it a dot on the head so we know we've done it. So you're crucial to this? Yeah, crucial. It's not the hardest job, but it is crucial, you're right. So it's a broad spectrum wormer. Uh, it just covers them against a few different type of worms. Are we just, getting, are we just doing them all now because they're coming in for scanning anyway? Yeah, so we're just doing it now because it's easier. Uh, while they're all inside, uh, doing them under cover, just easier for us. We've got this handling system as well where we can move them around. Yeah, so basically, this is where the wormer is in this uh, bottle just here. Pipe obviously feeds to what we call the gun, just a trigger operated uh, applicator. And then we're just going to administer this uh, dose of wormer. Um, it's adjustable as well. So it all depends on a uh, sheep's body weight as to how much wormer it needs. So let's give it a I'll go. Not keep you any longer. Tom's gone for one of the biggest sheep in the pen there, by it looks. So it just restrains it underneath its chin. Um, no pressure on no it. No pressure on it. You can put your hand on its back as well. And then it's just a case holding it underneath. Now you've just got to be careful. You don't want to damage its teeth or anything like that. So we just slide the applicator in the outside of its mouth just there. Just 
just give it a second and then just gently squeeze the trigger. Just leave it in for a few seconds as well there, just to make sure that it's swallowed everything. Uh, sometimes what happens is they spit it back out and then obviously it's a wasted dose and it might not get its correct amount, so just take his time. Um, better to do it properly first time and that's it. You see it's got a coloured mark on top now. Alex has just put that on there. Uh, so we can identify which ones we've done. Right, there we go. Sheep all brought back. These lads have still got a few more to do. Dave's got a few more to, to bring back, but I'm going uh, I'm gonna retire for the rest of the afternoon. So thanks very much for watching. Um, a little bit about our sheep. We'll be scanning them um, tomorrow, I believe. So that's a lot of work to do again. Right, see you later from, from me, from Alex, from Ted, and from... Tom! Right, see you later. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Bye-bye.